one activist, Charles Hoidaka, file a petition to the Public Service Commission for the removal of one Mr. Nordin Haji, the current holder of the DPP's office. The petition is grounded on the malpractices within the DPP's office. It goes into the bedroom of the Director of Public Prosecution in terms of one, how prosecutors are being promoted. We have attached a serious indictment on how very junior prosecutors, prosecutor, principal state council one, jumps to be an assistant deputy director of public prosecution. Those are free ranks without undergoing any form of interview or appearing before the Public Service Commission. So the question that activists is raising is, is this not what the Constitution talked about in Chapter 6, that promotion should be based on Article 231, merit. Mr. Nurudin Haji has not been following the merit unilaterally. He has appointed very junior, very junior state council in his office to be senior assistant deputy directors, jumping very other established prosecutors. Two, we have also raised the question of the absence of very solid prosecutors who Mr. Nurdin Haji found in there. He has completely scattered them, removed them from the DPP's office and sent them to work in Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Water, the Department of Children's Services, and others against the coast government and Kenyans have been cut to train the well-established uh, prosecutors. Remember, the judges in their, co in their colloquium said that the level and competence of the prosecutors handling sensitive matters is wanting, and that is why very many hardcore criminals are being acquitted, not because there is no lack of evidence, but because of poor, poor prosecution. We equally saw this in the case of the DCJ Mwilu, where the DCI is not indicted. The court indicted the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution because of the incompetence displayed by the young and inexperienced prosecutors. Third, the activist has raised a very fundamental question about people who applied for promotions but the people are being told to go for interview in jobs that they never, they never applied for that. Lastly, we have also looked at the bedroom of Nurin Haji on the question of pension. We have attached evidence that Mr. Nurin Haji has already unilaterally removed the pension from the Public Service Commission pension fund to his own without due regard to the procedure. In summary, the petitioner is seeking that relevant arms of government like the ESCC should now move to investigate the office of the Director of Public Prosecution with a view to preferring uh, corruption charges against one Mr. Nurdin Haji. If there comes a time when you're under siege and that uh, there are, the complaints are too many against you and that confidence that the public is supposed to have when you are there has also gone away and that people look at you not no longer as a person who can be able to protect the public but as their enemy, then isn't it time that a person like that Face and move if you can interfere with your own staff, bully them left, right, and center, transfer them without due regard to circumstances, bring people that you prefer and remove the others without uh, considering performance, bring people that you want without looking at people's experience, 
remove the people who you think can be able to be a threat to your position and take them to other places. That is a few time also for you to go. Aren't you going against any form of natural justice? Well, if then these are the things that you are doing and this is what people are complaining about, then don't you think it is time that you can also step aside without having much of these things coming out of you, wherever they are coming from? It is better for you to be able to move out rather than go to press conferences and start telling people that you cannot be called, you cannot be threatened, you cannot be bullied, that you are going to stay put. What kind of a face are you putting right there when you are saying that you cannot be called? The thing is, facts have been presented, situations have been brought about, circumstances have been clearly brought on the surface, yet you want to tell us you cannot be called? You want to tell us that you cannot be threatened? The issue now goes beyond you being threatened and trying to show your human and examining your own heart. Finding out whether you can be able to still do the job. Finding out whether people can still have confidence in you. If in your own office there is no confidence enough by yourself, aren't you fighting a losing battle? Aren't you embarrassing yourself? I keep on repeating and saying that it is a moment whereby the DPP right now should save face. The Public Service Commission has also filed reference saying that this man, they believe, needs to be able to answer a few questions here and there. If the Public Service Commission, in their replies that the petition for ministry, can be able to say that, why can't he take the key? Because he might delay everything for the duration that he wants to delay. But is he removing it? Is he removing the stain? The stain still remains there. If it's not going to happen today, it's going to happen tomorrow. So save face and move out. Do something else. Maybe join politics. Like some of us who are here doing politics and see that you can be able around. Not because of incompetence like this, but because of interest in being diversified. But for him, that office is no longer an office that he needs to be able to stay. He needs to be Constitutionally mandated to institute criminal proceedings and to take over criminal proceedings on the behalf of all Kenyans. Now, if we are here before this press conference talking about the incompetence of the director of public prosecution, unable to discharge his constitutional mandate, then we are saying that Kenyans cannot be afforded justice. Every Kenyan who seeks justice within this Republic of Kenya relies on the Director of Public Prosecution on behalf of the state to ensure that they see justice. If we are challenging the incompetence of this particular Director of Public Prosecution, what can the common Mwalainchi say? We are aware that not every Kenyan is able to go into our offices today to try and, 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 and instruct us to draft these petitions on their behalf. So far, we have launched over five petitions at the Public Service, uh, the Public Service Commission for the removal of one Mr. Nodin Haji. Now, the question is, how long are we going to wait until we see action? Public Service Commission, we are asking you, what is the timeline? Because every single day, new petitions are coming. Are we going to file over 100 petitions only for them to sit at the desk of the Commission with no action? What are we saying? We believe that the Public Service Commission is well able and well equipped to act on the petitions that have been presented before the point. And to save face, and in order to prevent more, more uh, airing of dirty linen of the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, we beseech Mr. Nguyen to step aside. Let the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution save face. Let it not go down. Let it not go down in record that the Republic of Kenya is unable to institute and to take over criminal proceedings for the country just because of one incompetent person. The grounds for the removal of the Director of Public Prosecution are very clear and articulated under Article 166 of the Constitution of Kenya. All the petitions we have filed raise all those grounds. Therefore, this is an urge to the Public Service Commission. We need timelines. We need to know how you will act. We need to know when you will act, because the law is very clear that once that once the 
petition has been forwarded to the president. He only has 14 days. Therefore, in the interim, how many more petitions are we going to draft and present before the public service commission, before we find action? Let us know so that Kenyans can know where this country stands in terms of justice. That is the Thank you. Now, Mr. Waitaka's petition is yet another revelation of the rot that has gripped the office of the DPP and the incompetence that continues to threaten the very existence of that office, the office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. It will be recalled that on the 27th day of August 2010, Kenyans overwhelmingly agreed that for us, we have given for ourselves a value system that should direct people in public service. To speak in, specific, in specificity, under uh, Article 232, we agreed that we must have a value system in the, in the conduct of the business of state, uh, state officers' jobs. And therefore, we agreed that for promotions to be done, for persons to be recruited in public service, there must be a process that is accountable, a process that is verifiable by the people, a process that is fair in itself, so that we have the most competent of ourselves to be in those public offices. What we see in Waidaka's petition is a very bad picture of Mr. Nudin Haji who is promoting his kinsmen, who is promoting persons basically due to corrupt practices or other ulterior motives. We see people, while well, there is nothing wrong with being a junior, you can be a junior and confident at what you're doing, but there must be a verifiable process, a process that will tell us that Mr. Omari, who joined the office of the DPP just recently, through his works, he has been promoted all to the top and is now heading a big division or the appeals division. So what is happening at that office is that we are having people who are being promoted not because of their competence levels, no, but because of other mo motives or other factors that we are not aware as the people who pay for these people to be in that public office. We, we see in uh, the increase in number of cases that have been filed at the employment and uh, labor divisions because of people who have been fired or unlawfully terminated from the employment because of the misconduct, the misdoings, and the misdeeds of Mr. Dudin Haji. So it is because of these complaints, which, which essentially began from the, the members of the public questioning what is happening in the office of the DPP. And now we are just taking an introspect we are taking a look at what is happening inside, in his room, and as senior puts it well, in his bedroom. So that even in where he sits, he's no longer at ease. Things are not happening as per the dictates of the law. Things are not happening as the constitution in the initial places or initial stages anticipated. So we are hoping, as my sister has put, my sister has put, that in the fullness of time, we know, of course, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Nudin Hajin is enjoying some illegal orders. We are hoping that tomorrow, when the case comes up before Justice Lanet, Justice Macau, but some of these orders that have tied the hands of the Public Service Commission, orders that have made it very impossible for the Public Service Commission to move and to proceed with the hearing and termination of the petitions that have been filed before it, are going to be discharged, and we are going to have uh, an expedited process that, are, that, that is going to see Mr. Nudin Haji also answer to the Kenyans of his deeds since his, uh, his appointment as the Director of Public Prosecutions. Thank you. Lastly, in Mombasa, while addressing the editors of the Editor's Guild, Mr. Nudin Haji swore that he will be available for scrutiny. A paradox. He has gagged the media. He has stopped Public Service Commission from conducting an interview with a view of removing from the office. And that is what you have said. Tomorrow we shall be pushing so hard to the court that be orders to stop Public Service Commission from receiving and processing petitions against 
Rudin Haji is unconstitutional. He's a person who has a double spirit. At the media's guild, he is saying he is ready to be put on the public scrutiny. Yet he has come the same media, but he took the there. So we'll be urging that let it be open for citizens to know such rocks that are within the office of the director of public prosecution. As we have clearly put it, this is inside his bedroom, and we shall be calling upon all investigative arms of government to put to question how did the director become law unto himself. We shall be writing to the ESCC, we shall be serving copies of this petition to the DCI, we shall be serving all these to all multi -agency agencies to investigate those people working in the office of the director of public prosecution are our Kenyans, are our sisters, are our brothers, 99% of them are lawyers. So we expect also the law society of Kenya not to come out defending Nurdi, but to come out to defend the state councils who are by extension advocates and members of the law society of Kenya. So we are urging that one, Mr. Nurdin Haji, to leave office. As we said, very many Kenyans are coming to us to file a petition we have nothing personal against one of Din Haji. We are doing our work as lawyers and paid not by anybody but by the petitioners who want their grievances heard loud and clear. Any more?